Alright, I'm going to talk about the very basics of using frames and frame set in HTML4, which just allows you to divide up your website page into sections so you can easily, you know, put stuff where it needs to go without using a whole bunch of tags. So, what these are basically, here is my blank document so far. And notice we don't have a body tag. Okay, so these aren't required. Just go right in and type in frame set. Go ahead and close that. Okay, and then whether you want to go horizontally cutting it or vertically, you either type in columns or rows. So let's start out with columns, set that equal to, and then in these quotations you can divide your sections by either percentage or pixels. So let's go 10% then put a comma and then this will be your next section so this can be whatever let's say 60 percent and then you could have a third section etc and just keep going on uh, but let's just put a little asterisk and what this will do is automatically fill out the rest and you could put the necessary 30 percent to make it a hundred but you know this will just save some time and math alright so we have three sections one two three and that means we have to create three frames so type in three frames and then save it. Now you'll see this is our first part and if you look this is 10% of the screen. The next part is 60% and then the next part is whatever else which would be 30%. So if we didn't want three sections we could go to 90% save that and just refresh and now we only have a 10% and 90% and like say you can change this to 85 and then just put an asterisk to here if you don't want to have to deal with finding the percentage necessary and it'll do it for you so you get how it works just add a comma and you can keep splitting it up into different sections uh, rows is the same thing except now it's gonna cut from top to bottom so let's do a 150 pixel one this time. Um, let's do 20% and then whatever else makes up the screen. Alright, so now this would be 150 pixels. The middle section would be 20% of the screen and that would be whatever else is left. Alright, so you'll get how it works. Alright, you can also have both rows and columns. So let's go ahead and make two rows. Let's make one. 55 pixels and then put an asterisk and have the other so these are two frames save that alright so I want the top one to stay the same but I want to divide this bottom one into two so after the top one go ahead and type in frame set and now we're gonna divide it horizontally so columns and let's do this one 10% by 90% Alright, and now this is two, so let's put another frame here for that. Alright, so now this is 10 and 90. Now you want to close this frame set, and you're good. Alright, and what if we wanted to divide this up even more? So let's say we want to divide up this left column right here. So that would be this frame, if you're looking at it. It would be the 10% one. Let's go ahead and, before that, add another frame set this one's gonna be rows 15% of that and make two of those so that means we have to come down here make another frame and after the second one we close it off where we want so now we'll see this one's divided up into two sections as well so it's just very careful looking at what you want to divide. So our first set, we have two frames, this top one and then this whole bottom one down here. And then we cut the bottom part into two sections. So we put a frame set of columns, 10% and 90%. And that was one of, this, one of these frames and then this frame down here. And then we wanted to cut again this first frame right here. So we put a frame set and then made two frames inside that first one. A little confusing, but um, you know, practice it a lot and you'll get the hang of it. 
Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the positions of these two objects. And now let's start putting some actual substance inside here. So for the top one. So what we can do is make separate websites. So I made something, this is called the masthead. You can name, name these one you want. Um, but you just make something that you want to go in each section. So this I want to go at the top. So this is what it looks like by itself. But if we put it inside the first frame, so it would be in this top one right here. We would just type in source. And then put in what it's called. So we named this mast head.html save it alright so this is not exactly refreshing let's just go ahead and reopen it see if that gets it in there we go so now it's in the top so you may have to reopen your browser to get it to fully take effect alright so now in this side panel right here I want some links so I went ahead and made this in this HTML document and this is what it looks like by itself and if we go ahead and view this source we can just see what I did here just body background is tan and then I made some links uh, linking to each of the pictures we had remember just like in our iframes and we target them into our iframe called viewer so this is just each of those pictures and it says pictures slash pup one because I went ahead and put them all into this folder so that's why I have to include that right there all right so let's put this inside our frame so that frame is going to be this first one right here so let's go ahead and add a source and add the name of that and refresh okay we're gonna to have to keep closing these out and reopening it for them to apply alright here we go so now we have the links so if we click on these, they show the pictures, but they don't show up in this body section. I want them to show up in this big white area. So in the frames, if we find that frame, this frame is is this cut in half one. So that would be down here. So the frame that's the big one is this bottom one down here. So let's go ahead and name this whatever we want. Let's say main. So the main document. Or we could name it body or whatever you like. And then in our navigation bar remember before we target them into the iframe which we named viewer let's just change this to main so now it will be targeted into our frame so just to the link all I did was just add target equals and then put the name that we named it right here okay so refresh that and now when we click on it now they will open up in here Okay, also I want a default source for this. I, so when I open this up right here, notice it just opens up to blank. Let's put something right here. So let's go ahead and create another HTML document. Name it body or something. And let's go ahead and edit it. So I don't need all this. Let's change the colors. So you can use text right there or the um, numbers. All right, and let's put some words. Click. All right, let's just go with that. Something simple. All right, so if we open this, this is what this one looks like. And I want to put this HTML document into here. So let's go to our frame and put source. put the name of our document and reopen it alright so now we have this nice little background right here that says to click on to each link to show it and finally we can put something down here if we really wanted and that would be inside this frame so you could put a source and make another HTML document Let's name this one contact and save that so close this out and let's make a final one I'm just gonna copy again 
contact. Put a link on this. And let's just have it mail to someone. Alright, so that one's done. So this is what it looks like on its own. Just a simple link. And then if we open the frame that we applied it to, now it is a clickable link to contact us. Alright, so that's the very basics of this. Um, with each of these frames, you can have it so they're not resizable. Like, say, these are resizable. So you can add no resize to each of these and it'll make it so they cannot resize ones. Also you can type in scrolling equals no and that will make it so you can't scroll like here there's a scroll bar so just type in scrolling equals no and that'll get rid of that. All right, and you can put frame border equals zero and that will get rid of the frame borders and such and all the other attributes that come with it. Um, but just to set it up this is how to do so and like say you can put a name on any of these frames and then you can link stuff in to go into inside of them. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.